She's fighting off predators to save her babies. She's an experienced mother. This year, she's had six chicks, but this time she doesn't seem herself. She's leaving the nest more often than she should. One night, she seems particularly on edge. She can't see the threat in the darkness, but she knows it's there. A tawny owl confronts her. It seems to be the last straw and she disappears into the night, leaving the chicks completely alone. It's clear Mrs. Kez won't be returning, leaving Mr. Kez, the father, with a near impossible task. If their chicks are going to survive, you'll have to defy the textbooks. After a night alone, the chicks are cold and hungry. Although he's equipped to provide for the chicks, he's got no idea how to feed them. Mr. Kez keeps returning with more prey and the chicks are getting more and more desperate. One of the chicks tries to eat, but they can't feed themselves. They haven't been fed in over 12 hours, and if they don't eat soon, they'll die. I decide it's time to intervene. I'm Robert Fuller, wildlife artist and filmmaker, and I'm gonna help Mr. Kez succeed as a single parent. I carefully open up the nest so I can assess the chicks. They're starving, so I gently feed them by hand. So these chicks are really hungry, and there seems to be some that are getting quite weak in here, so I think I'm gonna have to take them out. I'm just gonna do a quick health check on each one and see which ones I might need to get warm straight away. Three were small, cold and weak, and needed to be cared for. But I put the three stronger chicks back in the nest in a bid to keep them wild. And Mr. Kez wastes no time in coming back to them. He's brought even more food, but when they won't take it, his instincts kick in. He tries to brood them, usually the role of the female. It's remarkable to watch, but you can tell he's not used to this. He just can't seem to get comfortable. He's unsettled and heads out. At the entrance, he calls for his mate. As he flies off, the chicks are alone once again. With no sign of Mrs. Kez returning, I'll be keeping a close eye to see how he gets on as a lone parent. I won't return his other chicks until he learns how to feed them. There we go. It's amazing to see this little one now. It was really cold when I first got it in and not moving much at all. But I've warmed it up now and look at it begging for food. Absolutely superb. Later, Mr. Kez comes in with a special catch, a lizard. The lizard is thinner and easier to swallow, and the chick guzzles it down whole. This is incredible to watch, and it seems like a light bulb moment for Mr. Kez, and he heads out for more. He comes back in with purpose, sets the mouse down, and starts tearing it up for the chicks. It's absolutely magic. Against all the odds, this male kestrel has learned how to feed his chicks. I think these chicks have got a good chance of survival. It's 5 a.m. in the morning and I've got the three youngest kestrel chicks with me, now looking so much better. It's time to get the younger chicks back into the nest. The older chicks seem a little stunned with the reunion, but they soon welcome them as family. With all six chicks doing well now, Mr. Kez settles into his new role and the chicks grow fast. Pretty soon the nest becomes crowded with six well-grown chicks. One of them stumbles to the entrance for the first time. It's fascinating watching him peek out in curiosity. Even with older chicks, Mr. Kez continues to be a devoted father, providing them with as much food as he can. I keep a close eye and continue to help out, knowing there are many mouths to feed. It's been about a month since the kestrels hatched. They're starting to show signs that they're ready to leave the nest. One foggy morning, as Mr. Kezza waits on the nearby branch, three chicks squeeze onto the entrance. It's very crowded and one struggles to hold on. They leave him with no choice but to take the leap. 
promptly joining his father on the branch. Soon a second takes flight, overwhelming Mr. Kez. Over time, the third, and fourth, and fifth chick leave the nest. The sixth and final chick seems confused at the amount of space in the nest now. It won't take long for him to take the leap as well. Mr. Kez must be a very proud dad. <laughs>